Hi, it's Wesley with Expandacraft Modular Boats here today. I'm going to go over some of the new color choices and a little bit about our old uh, fleet here, or my rental fleet. Uh, we'll go over that a little bit more. I'm going to get right to uh, the, the matter at hand, and that is the new colors. And I'm going to want you to put down in the comments your suggestion for what other color I'm going to put into the Expandacraft family. Uh, I can't get too many colors because they only have so much space. I am a small business. That Goodwill box is all of the parts that I have to sell in one of the other trailers. So if I add too many colors, I have not enough space. Let me show you the new colors. This is what I call sand or desert sand. This is the older style color, which is a tan or a taupe what you might want to call. I call this one black and tan. This boat is called black and tan. So the black and sand combination, and that's the key, combination of different colors could match your sports team or, or whatever color that, combination that you like. I just put a green and yellow in there. I know there are sports teams with green and yellow. And this is the question that I want you to answer in the comments below. What other color should I add? Gold? Then you could have a gold and black gold and green. I know there's a lot of teams out there with different colors. I want you to tell me what color you would choose and what team colors that would represent so that I can make an educated decision as to which color to add to the Expand the Craft family. Now, I'm going to talk briefly about the new risers. The new risers, as you can see here, have these two bolts that fit right here. I've done away with the through slot for a couple of reasons, too much to explain right here on this video. But this is how it comes, and you just bolt these tabs onto here, and one riser is two tabs, so that you know. All right, come down here. This is the old style, and I still have a few of these left, so if you must have this color, then you must have the through hull style. A little bit different than these. Uh, these are about one pound lighter as well. Uh, just a different plastic formula and a little bit less weight. And you could put the PVC pipe through here. Uh, this one is skipped because you don't need to have both of these in the middle. So that's the difference between the old style through slot and the new style with the solid tab what this allows is that through slot takes up some plastic. So all that plastic that normally would have been on that through slot is now into the hull of the part. So it's a little bit more durable. Okay, so we have the black here. Now black is gonna get hot to the touch uh, in the sun, but you splash it with water and voila, there you go. Uh, and you can see down here how wonderful this shape is this is my baby this is my uh, uh, my invention is that mirror image dovetail connector which allows you to, to put a bow to a bow or any number of center parts in a row so you could take this 12 foot 9 inch and make it into a 16 foot 9 inch speaking of 16 foot 9 inch both black and tan and this one I call lemon lime I call it lemon lime because well yellow and green like the color uh, lemon and lime well I the name of the boat is sprite for the lemon and lime combo so start thinking about combinations of colors that would look good on either whatever canoe or kayak you would put in the middle or if you're just going to do an expand the craft and let me show you like this one now you can vote for blue I can bring back the blue again, but this is a triple 12, so it's 12 feet 9 inches, it's 6 feet wide, this is a two part deck, so each one is 8 feet long at the longest, but only 2 feet wide. So you have a swivel seat, a little motor mount, and a bimini top, you can put another swivel seat, one facing forward, one facing aft, so that you can have a conversation, or you can put it traditionally side by side, that's up to you, you get plain deck. You can create your own deck out of wood, or you can use the aluminum deck. 
which I'm going to show you. If you'll turn around, I'll show you a little something about the decking. This is the aluminum decking that I sell. It's indestructible. You can take a, a screw and bolt through it, and, and it's never going to be a problem. This is a padding from 3M. Uh, the 3M padding not only takes the glare down because the aluminum is shiny when you first get it, unless you throw some salt water on it and let it sit there, it'll gray out, which is supposed to. Um, and then over here we have the wood deck, as we have been showing. This is just stuff from your home supply uh, store. I don't want to talk names, but it's just decking for what you would put on your porch. Now, something I did special here, if you'll notice, there are no wood screws showing on the top. I made it screwed from the bottom, so there's a, a slat going this way. That way, there'll never be any um, splinters coming up through all those screw holes that would have been in here if I shot it through this way traditionally. You can get creative, and that's the key with Expandacraft. The only limitation is your imagination. Expandacraft.com. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and give me some comments, good, bad, or indifferent, but I certainly want to know what colors you would have me bring to the Expandacraft family.